Oh, gotcha, you s- Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I am going to do an update on some holdbacks that we have here at Triple B. And at the very end of the video, we've got a very special holdback that's switching over to different food. And we'll check that out, too. to show him because he is an Enchi Cinnamon Sunset, what I still believe to be the best, more simple now, because they're, they won't, okay, there's some really good looking Sunset combos out there these days, especially Brad Boa putting out some phenomenal work with Sunset, um, but this is a particularly nice combination, even into breeder adult size, and this guy is going to play a crucial role in getting Enchi Cinnamon Clown Pied Sunset animals happening and I, I i'm trying to figure out if i that we need some contrast you know and i'm wondering if uh if spot nose would do that but spot nose in pied also makes a really really light pied that's why i'm hoping the enchi will combat the spot nose in pied because the enchi pied is a very very patterned snake this guy's a crucial part of that another crucial thing is actually producing eggs from pairings that you do try to work towards that project and it's just one of those things where you know, at the rate that this project is going i really truly am hoping to have enchi cinnamon sunset clown pieds before I have grandchildren. At the rate we're going, it's gonna be close. The second holdback we're showing off today is Don Ho here. Oh, by the way, the last snake snake was, last snake snake? The last snake's name was Stud Muffin. This is Don Ho, the Coral Glow Champagne 100% Het Pied. And we're hoping to make some Coral Glow Champagne Pieds with sometime in the near future. Oh, also with Yellow Belly. Yellow Belly Coral Glow Champagne Pieds. Right, before we move any further in the video, I just wanted a quick shout out to our sponsors. Of course, Redline Shipping. If you're not aware, Redline is now doing rewards points for every time you ship through them or get products from them. You're building up rewards points, and those rewards points turn into dollars that you get to spend with them again. You're basically making money when you use Redline Shipping, so it's pretty awesome. And of course, Morph Market, light years ahead of any other online platform for looking for animals and always new features coming out on Morph Market, always making changes to improve the site. And that's where you can find all of our animals that we have for sale. And speaking of animals for sale, I'm going to show some of the stuff that I'm bringing to the Pomona Reptile Show this weekend. As you're watching this video, that's where we are right now. And maybe you'll see them here and you'll be able to reach out to me and get a hold of me quickly before somebody at the show buys that snake that you might be wanting because I just put some of those animals up on Morph Market like yesterday. So check it out. You know, we don't we'll hold back a ton of snakes here at Triple B. We're all about slow growth, which means very few holdbacks. But this one I did actually have for sale at one point, And for some reason, nobody bought. I don't know if I had a price too much. Or I might have had the price a little high. That could have been part of it. But this is an Enchi Red Stripe Pinstripe Spot Nose Clown. Possibly Yellow Belly. Check this girl out. Out. One of the common things that you see here with ball pythons is that they, they don't necessarily get better and better with age and you know they're kind of in their, their best looking state when they're when they're babies. But this girl is one of the exceptions to that. She just keeps getting this this like goldenrod color on her head. You see that? It just keeps getting more and more beautiful. And she's just really grown. I mean, there's like these kind of burnt orange it's just oh sorry girl she's she's just got these colors that i've not seen in another ball python ever in my entire life or any other snake even for that matter maybe like a red racer or, some, or a racer from utah i don't know but this girl is just looking phenomenal and super glad that we actually ended up holding her back so this is another hold back here this is a bamboo het clown female and there's definitely more than just bamboo happening here i'm just not 100 percent certain what you know, there could have also been Enchi, which I, I don't think, but there also could have been Spot Nose, uh, Red Stripe. So I'm thinking Red Stripe, Bamboo. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know what, and that's why I'm holding her back. And she'll just get paired with um, a very awesome clown male at some point in the future. And we will find out what magical things she is holding on to. But she's looking phenomenal. 
here is an animal that is not a holdback, but will absolutely be at the Reptile Super Show today. I'm guessing somebody's going to get her because this is a piebald female that also happens to be 100% head clown. So my guess is this girl will not last the day, either here on YouTube or at the Reptile Pomona Super Show. A very good looking pied, right about to pee, uh, and I'm not going to let her pee on my table. I'm going to pull away before she pees. Let's go. Well, hopefully she uh, lets that go before I pack her up for Pomona. That would be nice. Thank you, please. Here we have a lovely little holdback yellow belly spot nose clown. Uh, it's just a phenomenal looking. I had produced one of these uh, last season and ended up selling it, and I was really bummed. It was like the one regret... I, I, most of the snakes I sell, I'm like, I'm fine with it, but th that was one regret I had. I mean, yellow belly spot nose clown. Uh, a, just for really adding into the Sunset Clown Pie project at some point. You know, yellow belly and spot nose are two of the genes that I think could help out that project. And just look at the sides on this animal. It's just like, it's just such a winning combination when you get yellow belly and spot nose into clown. It just really ramps up the coolness factor of the way the animal looks. So that's cool and uh, stoked that we actually have one that we're going to keep. So that's fun. Well, you got to have at least one animal in shed, right? I mean, all of the other animals I just showed you like just shed out and it's perfect for showing a video. This girl, you saw her not too long ago. So unfortunately, she's in shed for this update. She is an Enchi Lesser Red Stripe Spot Nose Clown. And there's possibly cinnamon in there too. Not 100% certain about that, but we're holding her back, so we'll find out later. The second to last holdback I was going to show you is just really deep in shed, and I just can't bring myself to show on camera because she looks nothing like she looks when she's not in shed, so we're just going to move on to the last holdback. Kai Kai, what's this? Oh, what's that? He knows what an avocado is. Oh, do you want to try some? tuning in and watching. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing all of your lovely smiling faces at Pomona today and this weekend. And y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you with some fun Pomona videos in the next videos coming up. Aloha. That fly finally landed and I'm fine. Slowly, slowly but surely grab the swatter. Don't move, fly. You stay right there. We're going to go for a little backhand flick here. You ready? Oh, gotcha, you sucker. Oh, you guys think that I'm joking? I'm not joking. I'm not just making this stuff up. I just nailed that sucker, dude. Backhand flick. What do you know about them apples, huh? Yeah, got that sucker right there on the tip of my fly swatter, bro. Freaking toast, dude. Sorry, I have no remorse for flies in my snake room.